All right, diving into Kali Linux today. Okay. You know, you've probably heard of it. Right. Seen it in movies, maybe. Definitely. It's what, like, all the security researchers use. Yeah, a lot of them. And, and well, to be honest. Yeah, some of the, the not-so-good guys, too. Right? Yeah, for sure. But what makes Kali so powerful for cybersecurity? Well. What is it? We're basing this deep dive on the Wikipedia article about Kali Linux. Okay. And, and, um. Go on. Yeah, so what's really interesting is it's designed for penetration testing, digital forensics. Okay. Built for it from the ground up. Interesting. So to really secure a system, mm -hmm. you got to know how to break it, right? Right. That's where our ethical hackers come in. Makes sense. Kali is their toolkit. That's really interesting to me, this whole ethical hacking thing. Yeah. It it seems like a kind of a blurry line there. Yeah. Can you, can you explain that? Absolutely. Like well, who would think of it this way? Yeah. Ethical hacker. Mm -hmm. Like a... A security consultant, okay. but hired to find the weak points, you know. Before someone with bad intentions does. Exactly, yeah. before the bad guys. Okay. They use the same tools and tricks. Yeah. But they've got permission. Right, right. And their goal is to make things more secure. Gotcha. Which is more important than ever these days. Yeah, definitely. Cyber attacks are getting really sophisticated. That's true, yeah. It's it's wild out there. So Kali is the toolbox then for these, like, Digital detectives? Exactly, yeah. And Wikipedia says over 600 tools. It's a lot, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of tools. Yeah. Some of these names, like air cracking, right. yeah. wire shark, like legendary in the security world, yeah. right? They're, they're not just names, though. Yeah. These tools have been uh, a big part of finding some really serious vulnerabilities. Like, give me an example. So, like air cracking. Okay. It's used to, you know, mm -hmm. test Wi-Fi networks. Yeah. See how secure they are. Right. And it's been used to expose weaknesses in encryption protocols. Wow. Which just shows how important strong network security is. Yeah, that's what's so crazy to me about it. It's yeah. like, it's not just theory, you know? No, not at all. It's like actually protecting our data. Real world stuff. Our privacy, our like whole digital lives, basically. Exactly. And then there's John the Ripper. Right. Which just shows how important strong passwords are. Absolutely. Right. It's a it's a password cracker. Yeah. But but yeah, that's just you know, scratching the surface. Yeah. Kali's got tools for everything. Give me give me some more examples. Network scanning. Mm. You've got exploiting vulnerabilities. Okay. You've even got things like Metasploit. Okay, now we're getting into some serious stuff. Yeah, a little bit more. Uh, Let's use that. So Metasploit, it's a framework for making and using exploits. Wow, so it's like next level. Yeah, you can simulate real world attacks with it. Okay. Find weak points, mm -hmm. come up with strategies to fix those risks. Before they even happen. Exactly. So it's about being proactive. Exactly, yeah. That's really interesting. That's that's the whole philosophy behind Kali, yeah. really. Giving yeah. these security pros the knowledge, the tools. To stay ahead of the game. Yeah, to stay one step ahead. That's so cool. It's pretty amazing what they can do. So, so Kali, it came from Backtrack, right? Right, yeah. Th that's what it said in the Wikipedia article. Yeah, it did, yeah. Can you tell me about that transition? Sure. So backtrack, it was, you know, it was also for pen testing. Okay. But when they switched to Kali, they made some big changes. What kind of changes? They redid the interface. Okay. Changed the default shell. Mm -hmm. And they really tried to make it more user friendly. Yeah. Because what good are powerful tools if you can't use them? Exactly. Yeah. Right. The more intuitive they are, mm -hmm. the better security researchers can do their jobs. And speaking of, this is where it gets really interesting because mm. this Kali NetHunter thing, that lets you run Kali on Android devices. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's insane. It is, yeah. It's like a portable hacking lab. Exactly. In your pocket. In your pocket. That's crazy. That's pretty wild. So, like, someone could be, like, you know, at a coffee shop. Yeah. And, like, hacking into the mainframe. Well, I mean, not exactly hacking into the mainframe. Okay, okay. But they could be doing, you know. Right, right. Security assessments. On the go. Yeah, on the go. That's wild. Analyzing networks. It's so crazy. It really is kind of mind blowing. It is, yeah. You know when I when I first heard about Kali, yeah. I thought you needed like, like a crazy setup. Yeah, like a supercomputer. Yeah, I hear that a lot. To even run the thing. It's a common misconception. Really? Yeah, Kali can be resource intensive, sure. Sure. Okay. Especially for, you know, yeah. certain tasks. Right. But the base requirements aren't actually that high. So I don't need like you don't need a server farm. A server farm in my basement? Yeah, oh no. To run call any? Unless you're, you know, doing some massive simulations. Okay. Running a bunch of virtual machines, then maybe. Right. But for most stuff, a regular computer's fine. Okay. That's good to know. And like we said, you can even run it on a Raspberry Pi. Right. 
That little thing is a powerhouse. It really is. It's amazing. It's, it's pretty cool how accessible this stuff is becoming. Yeah, and that's important. Yeah. Especially now with how fast things are changing. In the cybersecurity world. Exactly. I, what do you mean? Oh, the new threats are popping up constantly. Right. And we need people who can, you know, keep up, keep up adapt, and respond quickly. Okay, so we need we need skilled people. Yes, definitely. Oh God, and they need the right tools. Exactly. To Kali, Kali's a big one, yeah, to to stay ahead of those threats. It gives them a way to test things, yeah. learn, right. develop new strategies. So it's not just about using Kali in the real world then. Right. It's also a huge part of education and research. That makes sense. It's about understanding cybersecurity at a deeper level. Okay, so it's like a, like a training ground right. for right. these ethical hackers or anybody who wants yeah, to. Yeah, it's like a sandbox. Learn about this stuff. You can experiment with different techniques, see how exploits actually work, right. learn how to defend against them. So you can break things. In a safe environment. Right, and then you know how to fix them. Exactly, it's like you know a doctor okay. studying a virus in a lab. Makes sense. Before they have to treat actual patients. I get it. The more you understand these tools and techniques, the better prepared you are for real life situations. That's a good point. Yeah, it's all about being prepared. So looking ahead then, yeah. how do you think tools like Kali Mm -hmm. are going to have to adapt to keep up with, like, all these new cyber threats? That's the million-dollar question, right? It is. It's changing so fast. It is. And as technology gets more advanced, yeah. the bad guys, they up their game, too. Right. So it's like a it's like an arms race. Kind of. Yeah. We're already seeing more AI-powered attacks. Really? Oh, yeah. Sophisticated malware. Wow. That can slip past the usual defenses. <laughs> and there's a big push to exploit weaknesses in, like, IoT devices. The Internet of Things. Exactly. Like our smart refrigerators and stuff. Exactly. Our thermostats, everything. Wow. So it's not just computers and phones anymore. Nope. It's everything connected to the Internet. The whole world is a target. Pretty much, yeah, which makes things a lot more complicated. So where does Kali fit in, then? Well, it has to evolve, too. Okay. Keep adding new tools and techniques to fight these new threats. What do you think we'll see in the future? I think we'll see more automation. Okay. More machine learning threat intelligence. Oh, right into Kali. Yeah, it'll have to become even smarter. So it can keep up with the bad guys. Exactly. It's going to be a constant race, for sure. A race against the machine. In a way, yeah. But it's not just about speed. What else, then? It's about being agile, being able to adapt. Okay. And really understanding how the threats are changing. So it's like you need the right tools, yeah. but you also need the knowledge to use them effectively. Exactly. It's a combination of both. It's like ethical hackers are the like the immune system oh, I like that. of the internet, right? Yeah. yeah. Always adapting, always evolving. That's a great analogy. To fight off the new threats. Yeah. And just like our immune systems, right. Kali has to keep learning, keep evolving. To stay ahead of the game. Exactly. Well, this has been fascinating. It has. Diving deep into Kali Linux with you. Yeah, it's a it's a fascinating topic. We've covered so much. We have, yeah. The capabilities, the history, mm. even like gotten a glimpse into the future of cybersecurity. And we've only scratched the surface, really. Right. Like there's so much more to learn. Oh, absolutely. So the specific tools, yeah. the techniques, right. and then even bigger picture stuff. Like what? The ethics of it all. Right. The philosophy behind cybersecurity. Yes, a whole of it. It's a deep rabbit hole. Rabbit hole, yeah. 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 Well, for our listener out there, yeah. if this deep dive has like piqued your interest. I hope so. Kali Linux, it's a it's a fascinating world. It really is. And and learning about Kali, yeah. that's just the first step. It is. Yeah. There's a whole universe of knowledge out there. Absolutely. Just waiting to be discovered. So go explore. Exactly. And who knows? What's that? Maybe you'll be the one developing the next generation of cybersecurity tools. Yeah. Or, or using those tools to make the internet a safer place. That's what we need. That's a great point to end on. It is, yeah. It's been awesome diving deep with you. Likewise. Always a pleasure. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed. Stay safe out there. And as always, stay secure.